Hey Steve and uh, all other YouTube um, people out there. Um, listen, I just wanted to uh, touch base, Steve, with you especially. Um, I appreciate you answering my message I sent to you on YouTube the other day in regards to the construction of a um, cogless PMA um, that does not have initial cogging and that way we can get the blades spinning and then once the blades are spinning then you can uh, you know increase the cogging and still actually have no um, no net effect on the the wind turbine so anyway as you can see I went ahead and took some time and drew some things out here um, here's our cup magnets that I sent you the link for and here's the internal magnet and of course the outer structure of that assembly and obviously cup magnets um, the reason why I kinda looked at those because they're fairly inexpensive for what they are they're very strong uh, like the ones I sent you the link for I think they're like an 80 pound pull force and the magnetic field as you know is pretty collimated it's pretty uh, condensed and there's not much leakage flux so uh, basically I, I'm under the impression I believe that the flux would be concentrated mainly right on this face here and of course as you are probably aware that's why when you put a piece of metal in front here and it sits on top of the magnet and the outer shell that cup magnet assembly it pulls the, mat the uh, piece of steel close to this area here because it allows it to complete the, uh, the magnetic flux um, circuit there the magnetic circuit so you know obviously a few questions come up um, the reason why I like the cup magnets, like I mentioned, is uh, extremely intense field. They're small, they're lightweight, um, they're fairly inexpensive, and it's something I can easily adapt to my existing wind turbine. As you know, I have a PMA, a car alternator PMA based um, wind turbine currently, and it does have cogging, so it takes an initial gust up to probably six or seven miles per hour to get it to overcome the initial cogging torque and then once it's rotating it takes a wind of probably about 2.2 .2 to 2.5 miles an hour just to overcome the cogging torque and so my thought was alright well I've got a good basis to work on why couldn't I experiment just a little bit with an external um, alternator type design that uh, could potentially um, eliminate initial startup torque um, on the the wind turbine, allowing it to start up just a little sooner. I may not make uh, make any additional watts, um, not significant amount of energy over a conventional cog um, cog base alternator, but I don't know. I think this may have a little something. I'm in Florida here, and, and our wind conditions are really low. So I'm under the impression if I can do it here, I can probably make this thing work anywhere. So basically, obviously, this is how my um, eventually how I, uh, you know, will will assemble this is to drill some holes, put these cup magnets around the perimeter of my 10-inch diameter hub, and of course I already have the blades on the hub, so it's all set. The other question is, okay, well. Now that I have these cup magnets rotating, I've got rotating magnetic fields, how do I extract the energy from them? Um, there's a couple, couple ways that I see that I could do this. One is a coil like this. Um, would that cut the flux line from the cup magnet assembly and produce current? Or should I go uh, with a more conventional approach, which would be this type here? And what I'm thinking, um, thinking back to other electromagnets that I've seen, even cup-based electromagnets, I see that this design probably will be the one that I end up going with. So that's why I've drawn, uh, I've drawn this over here. Um, as you can see, here's a cup magnet, and um, here is the uh, coil pickup assembly. Here are the turns. You can see those have X's on them, those have dots in the center so that indicates the, the direction of current flow and I've also drawn this so that I can pull this metal core in and out of this coil which means that theoretically 
at less than you know a few RPM, I can pull that core out. So I just have the coil in the field of the rotating magnets. So I eliminate cogging. And then once the RPM goes above a set point, I can have something that will push that, um, go ahead and push that core back into the magnetic, uh, push it back into the coil assembly. And that will couple the magnetic flux between the cup magnet and the coil pickup assembly. And so that will increase voltage and allow me to extract the maximum amount of energy from my wind turbine blades. So anyway, I figured, um, you know, it's sometimes difficult to write everything in an email or a message, but obviously a picture is worth a thousand words. And so um, this is a couple things I wanted to draw out for you to kind of get the point across somewhat and kind of pick your brain um, a little bit and see what your thoughts were. You know, it's interesting, these cup magnets, I'm pretty sure you can only order them one way uh, so that the center will be either north or south. And then, of course, the outer edges will be uh, the inverse of whatever the, the center is, you know, the um, opposite. So if the center is south, the outsides will be north. So I'm not sure if my coils that I create will have to, you know, have some wiring that is um, uh, like a contra wound or a backwards wound um, to give me a full phase AC out of this alternator. Or is a full phase AC output really necessary? Will I be okay with using magnets that have the same pole faces um, and produce just a pulsating um, DC output? So those are a few questions that, uh, that you may have some insights on or others. So uh, anyway, hey, listen, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this. And uh, we'll see where this goes. Maybe this comes out... Uh, to be a decent design and mechanically I can come up with a way to pull that core in and out so we can couple magnetic flux and basically do away with the cogging torque. So we'll, we'll see what happens with this. But hey, I appreciate your attention and uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks. Bye.